Okay, so Levi decided to bring his Skyline over. This has been an ongoing issue with the car where the car would not shut off even with the key being shut off. You'd have to kill the car using the clutch by putting it in gear and then slipping the clutch to kill the car and then flipping an, an actual ground switch that was actually mounted inside of the center console. There is a lot of stuff going on with this car that came from Japan that was done in Japan that I'm trying to reverse. There was tons and tons of wiring and everything that was running across the strut tower underneath the car. All of this wiring was stuff that ran across the engine bay basically and plugged into some switches. I don't know what their idea was to run these switches other than one of them went to the halo lights which Levi said don't work or they look like poop. And then there were some switches that turned the tail lights off which didn't make any sense. Uh, this was part of the stock EC, or well, the ECU that came with the car, so there was a Power FC, and it was the D Jetro, I believe it is, because I think the L Jetro is the one that has a map sensor. That one still utilized the mass airflow. There was actually a lot of this was very, very impressive to me. So this actually had a, there was a uh, turbo timer in here that had a jumper harness, so everything plugged in with connectors. And from what and, I understand, this car was like late 90s, early 2000s when somebody did it. So that's pretty impressive for that time. Yeah, so everything has connectors. Like anything that was added aftermarket has connectors. So I don't know what was going on here, but there is a certain relay and there's a certain fuse underneath the driver's side compartment that actually goes with the stock ECU. And having an aftermarket ECU and just aftermarket things in general would cause the car to continue running, cause the fuel pump to stay on, even with the key off. And uh, so what I found here is that they've got these ground wires, which these are some massive ground wires. They have them going to the center console and to the switch, and that would shut the power off, basically shut ground off to everything. So I've reversed that since. I haven't had it bolted down all the way because I'm, I was still trying to uh, check and make sure everything's gonna work functional. So we're getting to the point here where everything's gonna start working really good. I had to check power to the ECU. Everything turns off like it's supposed to, but I'm looking here at the stock wiring. So all this wiring here is factory. And then from ECU master, they included a jumper. So there's a box that switches as a conversion and then you get a little jumper deal and it goes into the ECU. So it can utilize every factory option on the engine. What I'm trying to do here is figure out the 12 volt issue. There's a 12 volt issue, kind of like what the Supra had where the ECU is reading that it is 12 volts when it's running, but at the battery, it is getting like almost 14. So what I'm doing here is this relay, these two relays, one is for ignition, one is for fuel, well, this is for the coils, and then one is for the fuel injectors. The ignition gets almost 14 volts, so it's getting what the uh, alternator is putting out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the constant 12 volt and I'm going to activate this relay. And then I will get another constant, almost 14 volts to go to the ECU and the ECU will read properly. Because what I think is happening, the car is very, very sluggish. And I'm not entirely certain if that's the reason why it's sluggish, but the ECU is doing different changes because it's reading a certain voltage that's not actually right. So so because of that, the ECU is gonna see 12 volts instead of the 14 volts like it's supposed to. So the ECU is trying to use the coil dwell and the injector latencies and it's using 12 volts that it's reading instead of the 14 volts that it's actually getting. So it's pulling stuff back, even though these parts are actually getting 14 volts, so the injectors and the coils are getting 14 volts, but the ECU is seeing 12 volts. So the ECU thinks that they are not getting 14 volts. So it's pulling things back. It's just not working properly. So basically the injectors and the coils are going to fire differently. Yo, Nathan. Yo, Yo let's do a, let's talk about your vehicle. Oh, the vehicle? Yeah, let's go look at it. Yeah, all right, I want you to tell me about it and then we'll, we'll review it. 1984, that's all you need to know. 1984. It's 1984. It says itself. Palm Dookie. Gold. On all right, yeah. Two-piece wheels. All right, all right, hold on. We're going to review it in a second. Yeah. All right, all right. Re all right, all right. Look at this damn thing, bro. Bro, this thing is, what is it, JDM? It's JDM. It's about as JDM as the Supra. You have to bleep that out. I'm sorry, but I get so excited. Check this out. Turn signal delete. And the Cooney carburetor. Oh, oh, damn. You can access it right there by nuts. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Heat them up for a little bit in the winter. This is a liquid cooled 125. Yes, it has heaters. Yeah, don't need that <laughs> you can blow them on your feet? Yeah, it's got a heater. Dude, it's that's a, solid. Headlight. You have a horn, but the horn don't work. The Dude, okay, hold up. Hear me out. 
That is that 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 is straight off of an accord. You got a foot brake. And then when you're going down the road, this is you know the add the JDMFS. God. Damn, dude, you could fit like four people on here. It says on route All right, only, but show me the uh, dick and butt activity. That's that's butt to butt. Does it does it do a burnout? Whoa! Nice launch, boy. Dude, that's Man, solid. Going downhill, sixty-five. <laughs> Dude, bunny hop it. It literally got like V tech. Start going. You can tell you ride a dirt bike sometimes. Dude, listen to that. The thing is, it's got a rotary in it. Yeah, kind of clings and clings. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a little loose. It's solid. I don't like any of what's going on right now. No one's gonna know. They're gonna know. They're not gonna know. Don't fucking broke it off. All right, try it now. Bro, it's solid. I'm pretty sure I can snap this in half. You can't snap that in half. I'm gonna snap it. Try right it. Now. Snap it in half. You fucking broke it, dude. I worked so hard on that. I told you. I was All right, now now scoot forward. Scoot forward. You latched it. Yeah, it's yeah. just it, that fits home. <laughs> Does a skull scoot forward? I don't know. Yeah, you did nothing. Damn you it. just put screws in it. You fucking broke it, Levi. Dude, I worked so hard on that. I told you not to. Damn it. Look what oh, you now did. It doesn't latch. So, I have completely deleted basically everything out of his car. Engine bay looks so much better. There used to be so much stuff over there. I've deleted all the big lines. Levi, you gotta put your catch can back together. So, now I gotta adjust the tune and hopefully I can get this turbo spool in. I don't know if the VVT is actually working, which could be a big issue. What are you doing, huh? You think you're slick and you're not. Also, I gave Levi a crackle tune because he, you know, he, he wants to be JDM, bro. Yo, let him hear the crackle tune. Damn! Y'all know how I feel about that, so we're turning it off. All right, let him hear it again. No crackle tune. You know why? Because it's stupid. <laughs> it kind of likes underglow. Dude, I'm putting underglow on the Supra, and if anybody is watching to this point, y'all are gonna see some super sick stuff. If you like underglow, you like crackle tunes. It goes hand in hand. Dude, it doesn't go hand it in hand. It goes hand in hand. All right, so we're uh, tuning Levi's uh, Skyline right now because obviously there's been a lot of stuff that's changed. All the voltage and everything is pretty ironed out. The car is now much better. Found some grounds and stuff from the Japanese owner or whoever before. And yeah, well, they were very loose. So it would cut out fuel and everything when he hit bumps. Is it better now? It feels like it has no power, to be completely honest. Bro, it's freaking full rich. I'm tuning it, I'm tuning it. All right, so Levi here is talking crap, like what? what's wrong with crackle tunes? So I've got his crackle tune sounding like an AK-47 and I'm about to add some fuel to it to make it shoot some fire. And uh, yeah, so hold on here. For the record, I don't think crackle tunes are the coolest thing in the world, but I also like underglow on the right car. All right, all right, you just watch, you just watch. I'm telling you right now. All right, don't you worry. I hope you're ready. I'm not I ready. hope you're freaking ready. Yeah, get some RPMs. Oh my god, dude, your turbo's probably making power when it does that. 
Hold on, let me look at the log. I bet it has got to be. <laughs> Fireballs. That is not good. People are gonna think we're doing drive-bys, bro. <laughs> Let me make it worse. God, that is so obnoxious, bro. <laughs> boost controller so that way the car will build boost faster it does make full boost at 4,000 rpms but he still is convinced that it's laggy which i'm used to a turbo that does it at like 6,500 so like i can understand i guess but oh, once boost controller comes in it will hold the gate shut and it will spool probably just as fast as the supra the supra is full boost at like 3,500 but it is half a liter bigger but i hope you guys enjoyed the freaking the absolute obnoxiousness that is uh crackle tunes which i hate a good time it was a good time dude though. i hate those you so were much. laughing it's funny when i'm doing it but when everybody else is doing it, it's stupid well yeah whenever you're doing something like that it's fun when you do it but it's only fun once and then if it stays on and it continues oh no happen, i completely then, yeah, agree like i said if you could turn it on and off boom but yeah no not all the time <laughs> it was a crackle tune for you guys uh that was uh, that was actually pretty fun it was hilarious, but not to stay on forever. But anyways, let us know if uh, let us know at what power level you think this transmission is going to absolutely annihilate itself. And it's a KA transmission. And if you can guess what happens to it, even better. Yeah, guess let's let's guess what happens to it. What gear is gonna go out? Is it gonna blow a hole through it? Let's just have some fun. If you guys made it this far. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys later.